Tiger Woods. I'm looking for an Ethan Hallow Road.
so a 2-1 win today back in the league um, nice to bounce back after after Tuesday uh, what are your thoughts on today's performance yeah look firstly that's three wins in the league on a bounce so that's a, a big positive we've had you know back to back uh, wins you know at home which is again really important because earlier in the season we identified we weren't doing good enough and weren't getting enough points at home we were flying away from home and I think we've addressed that now um, you know going into today we knew look we knew that it was going to be a difficult a difficult result um, a, a Sorry, a difficult game. Uh, should be a really good side. I think that the league position is false. Um, you know, we had we've had two or three reports on them, and you know they've won. I think six at Lungi, and they beat Colville three, and could have won more. Uh, we knew that, especially away from home, they play a real, you know, a, a three four three. Um, it was difficult, similar uh, shape to what Radcliffe played on Tuesday, but we dealt with the shape better on on Tuesday. Um, you know, which is weird because we we win today and we get beat there, but we we weren't great. We've won, I think we've won ugly. Um, we didn't manage the game well enough. We, I felt that the second half, once we made the change, because Gift was struggling and Aram came on, it gave us a bit more energy in the middle of the park, and we were a lot better. You know, we go two nil up. We, we go two up and, um, and and to be fair we had a couple of chances to make it free and put the game to bed we didn't do that and we made hard work of it we, we didn't defend properly you know for their, their their one goal and they put us under quite a bit of pressure without creating anything they put us under some good pressure the last five or six seven minutes that were quite long and you know naturally you sit a li little bit deeper uh, but full credit to them I think that they the way they conduct themselves about their play is very good and I fully expect them to get out of it but you know today was all about us it was about uh, it was a game that we felt that we had to win to put pressure on the teams above us um, and that that gives us three points sorry nine points from our four game block so the boys have achieved their their target which we set each every four games so overall did we play great no um, I think you can ask me a, a question next about change of shape and, and you, you're right we did change the shape and uh, yeah Okay, I'm not sure how you knew, but uh, the change <laughs> shape today um, yeah. with the one up top and playing with wingers with AJ and Jade and it looked like on either yeah. wing. Um, was that forced because of the opposition or because of obviously lack of strikers at the moment? Uh, yeah. What was the thinking? Yeah, it was personnel. Um, look, we um, it's good to be flexible and be able to play different shapes. Uh, I think all teams need to be able to do that. But, you know, the shape that we play, the 4-4-2 diamond, uh, it's been brilliant for us for, you know, 18 months now. Um, and But we had no choice. We had to change it today. I, I, I always want to play two strikers up front. But I just felt, again, with the lack of experience or the lack of games, uh, minutes in the bank for JJ, I didn't really want to put the pressure on him and start him. Uh, so rather him come off the bench and with Alex not available, you know, for the next four games, effectively, um, we changed shape. I thought, get two wide players on and, you know, two very talented boys uh, who still made a contribution. But I think, you know, when we look back, the, the shape probably didn't work overall um, but we just needed it really for today uh, to get through and, and, and to get the points and we've, we've done that so yeah three points was massive and then looking ahead um, Ketter in a way on Saturday before we host Alf Church and then you got Starwood shortly after I know you always look at game by game and so <laughs> I know what you're going to say but um, in terms of league position are they got to be games that you're looking to pick up points from Look, my my um, motto won't change. Um, you know, we're getting closer and closer now to, to being in a position where we can say that we, we're going to we're probably likely to stay up, uh, and we won't. You know, we won't change that. You know, it's really it, it, look. We, we've. Um, We've probably amassed more points than we were expecting to um, and you know next week signals the halfway stage at 21 games we had a target at the start of the season to achieve by then and you know we've you, you know we're close to that now um, so yeah look, for me and I know it's boring and it, it is really boring but I don't really look at league tables yet I, I, I don't I just know we're not in the bottom not in the bottom four um, so yeah just keep just keep going take game by game and you know you look at the fixtures Kettering away, look really, real tough place to go. You know they play at Burton Latimer, 
which is effectively a step five um, facility. The pitches are very good, um, and you know Kettering have had an unbelievable winter at Alzo. So you know there's been a, they've changed a little bit since they changed manager, and the results have reflected that. And that is a really tough place to go. So people will look and think, oh Kettering. No, look, first of all, Kettering are a big club historically, and they're very difficult to beat at their place. But you know our away form's good. Um, we've got a lot of points away from home, and we'll go there. With, you know, full of confidence, and then you know Alf Church local derby, uh, and Stourbridge local derby, and certainly winnable games. But the teams that we're playing against, they all think we're winnable. You know, they can beat us. So let's get through that block and see how many points we can get, and then we we'll, we can maybe come January could start thinking about looking at league tables and making sure we stay up. Just very very quickly, the last question I wanted to touch on: um, Ryan Wallacott today was announced as signing his yeah. his contract um, to keep him with us for the rest of the season. He's been with you ever since you've been here. Yeah. Um, is that a reflection, I guess, of the the direction the club is going to be able to keep players like Ryan Wallacott? Yeah, look, Ryan Wallacott um, was one of my first signings, and Ryan Wallacott was one manager's player two years, um, you know, throughout the three years. He's been outstanding. Absolutely outstanding, and I just felt that we've put, you know, two or three players on contract. And, and Ryan's one. If I'm a if I'm a manager of another club, and I look around and I want to make a, a, a change in my, you know, my, my one of my centre halves, then Ryan's somebody that I'd go and get. And I think, you know, his goals, he scores five, six, seven, eight goals a season, uh, and he leads from the, from the back. He's not the most uh, vocal, but he leads by example, and he's outstanding. And that's like a kind of thank you for his performances over the years. And, you know, he said to me on Thursday, he's never ever signed a contract anywhere he's been. So, you know, that's a reward for him and he deserves that. And, you know, we'll probably get to January, we'll start looking at putting other boys on contract as well. Because when you're doing well, you know, we've had a few seven days from a few teams and, uh, and um, you know, you know, we've had a few chairmen put seven days in for our players rather than managers. But, you know, that's another thing. And uh, hopefully that will stop any of that happening. So, chairman, any chairman of any clubs, don't bother putting your seven days in. Let the managers do it. So, 2-1 win today at home. Uh, what are your thoughts on the team's performance today? I think performance-wise, it wasn't really the best. But uh, to be fair to Sudbury, they were actually a good team, and they've they've shown that on the last kind of five six games. They've, they've picked up some points, but um, but no. I'm, the main thing, like Gaffer said, is it's for three points really. But uh, we could have played better. But three points keeps us in around the playoffs anyway. Uh, what was it like for you today? We we changed shape mainly with the with the midfield and then the one up top. Um, did that take a little bit of adjusting or not? Uh, not, really? not really. I think I think obviously we're used to just having Gift kind of shielding me and Callum, but uh, obviously we've got Gift and Rowie. But I think it worked quite well. I know at times we didn't keep the ball enough, but at least you've got Gift and Rowie to kind of keep the ball. And Rowie's really good on the ball, and Gift Gift works really hard off it. So uh, I think we'll get used to it as a team as well, and having actual players out wide instead of all kind of down the down the centre. And then just to touch on for you a bit of personal news uh, it was announced earlier before the game that you'd signed a contract um, extending your stay with us even longer and under under Matt Clark um, firstly obviously how are you feeling signing that and I guess the question everyone wants to know is probably why yeah no obviously really happy to sign I, uh, I spoke to Gaffer and, and Chairman probably a couple of weeks ago and they mentioned Matt put me on a contract which was good because obviously I'll, I'll see myself at Redditch long term I think I'm the longest standing player now as well I think I've probably got about 120 games for the club but uh, but now it's an easy decision really I'll, obviously I plan on being here for a while hopefully and uh, I was chuffed to sign it 